good morning. Another glorious sunrise. <laughs> it's just, to me, it's amazing that I can come here as often as I do and give God all the credit for this. This is just, <laughs> it's amazing. It really is. We're coming up on the holidays. A lot of times, especially in early sobriety, there's some nervousness that goes on with that. Past holidays had been spent drinking. I, I remember many uh, Christmases where I was imbibing, you know, whether it be actual straight up whiskey or eggnog with a, a little something something in it, you know, and all of those kinds of things that we're used to in the past, that they were tradition, if you will. There's also Christmas parties, get-togethers, things of that nature. And I think that's why in recovery a lot of times, you know, as long as there's some sort of fellowship going on, there's usually like a sober party that you can attend, you know, with nothing but members of the recovery community that they get together at Christmas time and, and, you know, different holidays throughout the year. Kind of a safe haven, a place to celebrate without alcohol. You know, I think that's important. But there are many, many parties and get-togethers that do not include your sober community. I can remember feeling like I was obliged or obligated to go. For example, the company Christmas party. You know, if you work for a company that has a Christmas party, first of all, be grateful that you work, you have a job, and you're working for a company that actually throws a party. That does not mean that you have to put pressure on yourself to attend, uh, or put pressure on yourself because in the past it's been a drinking affair. Uh, usually, a party like that, you're allowed a plus one. Uh, or, for those of you who don't know what a plus one is, because that's new to me too, a date. You know, you're bringing someone with you, whether it's your parent or your sister or your cousin or your significant other. Bringing someone with you who knows what you're trying to do can be helpful. So you can bring a supportive person with you. It may even be your sponsor. It may be just a friend that's in recovery with you. Someone who can be supportive of what you're trying to do. So bring them along to the party. They can enjoy some of the food and festivities and help you stay sober. Another thing that I was told was to um, always take your own car so that if worse comes to worse, and you're feeling uncomfortable at one of these Christmas parties, you can actually leave, <laughs> you know? And I know that, especially with the company Christmas party, we put some pressure on ourselves over the Christmas bonus because that's, that's usually where it's given out, is at the Christmas party. Hang around until you get your bonus and then take off. Uh, if there's gonna be a lot of drinking going on before the party really gets started, you can show up late. Wait until the majority of the drinking is out of the way. The point is, is you don't have to do without. You know, and the same goes with family get-togethers. I know a lot of us have family members who certainly drink, especially on the holidays. You know, another thing that... Uh, that can be done is to double up on, on your recovery efforts, you know? If you do meetings, do more meetings. If you call people, call more people. Talk to them about this, you know? You don't have to do this in silence. You don't have to do it alone. If you pray, pray more. <laughs> if you meditate, meditate more, you know? If you watch YouTube videos, <laughs> watch more YouTube videos. Hey, whatever it takes, okay? You can get through these holidays without picking up a drink. 
I know you can. Believe me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I know it's not always the easiest thing to do. It doesn't even feel natural in the beginning to stay sober during the holidays. But not only can it be done, but it can be done and you'll create memories that first of all, you'll remember. <laughs> and second of all, memories that are completely different than any holidays you've ever experienced in the past. Doing things sober night and day. <laughs> I mean, it really is. You'll experience it. You'll experience the emotions that you were covering up when you were drinking. So, you know, I encourage you, do the parties, but be very mindful of how you do those parties. I think the main thing is to enjoy the holidays. Enjoy your sobriety. Enjoy the memories that you're going to make. I wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, uh, all of those holidays that I don't know how to pronounce, I wish them all to you. <laughs> and uh, sober is better, believe me. Sober isn't bad, it's good. Sober isn't boring, it's exciting. So. Between now and the next time I see you, stay sober, enjoy the holidays, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.